just knew, okay, Erica ain't here, Shell gonna do it. Y'all know Shell gonna bring in the fire, uh-uh. I need that Janet Jackson volume. Because one thing she do bring, she brings energy. She, so when she says her I am's, she believe in them. So if you come up here, no, she ain't just saying it. Matter of fact, come, come on up here, Quana. I want you to say your I am's. Shell just got energy. She just got, and, and I know she was going to be ready. But I said, no, y'all going to get used. After yesterday, y'all going to get used to just having somebody up here. So we're going to have Quana say our I am's. I got the scripture if you need it. We, we got help. You got Shell right there behind you. So I'm just going to, come on now. God, look, respect that. <laughs> Y'all go ahead and thank God that I didn't call on y'all this time. <laughs> Darnetta, Darnetta. <laughs> I hear you tapping that like, thank you, Lord. So here we go. Oh, I can't go that far? Can no, you, go, you can get this microphone. I'm vaccinated. I ain't worried. Come on up here. So that's what you're going to read. And you got right. this. Cup those hands. Cup your hands. <laughs> All right, guys, y'all, y'all bear with me, okay? All right. All right. You got this. You got Shell back there. So God created man in his own image. And in the image of God created he, him, male and female created he, them. And God blessed them and God said unto them, be fruitful. And multiply, and multiply, and replenish the earth, and, the earth, and, subdue, it, and subdue it, and have dominion, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the, the fowl of the air, and over every living thing, over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. I am the head. I am not the tail. I'm above only. I am not believed. I'm not beneath. I am increased. I am, increased. I, am abundance. I am abundance. Whatever you are. Whatever I am joy. I am joy. I am peace. I am, peace. I am a homeowner. I am not a renter. I am not a renter. The Lord bless thee. I receive. And keep thee. I receive. The Lord make his face shine upon thee. I and be gracious unto, unto thee. I receive. The, lift, the Lord lift up his countenance upon thee. I and give thee peace. I receive. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. There you go. Come on now. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, come on. Y'all, come on. You can't just be sitting here quoting week after week. And it not being you. You got people to help you. You got a, a shell supporting you. You got a church family. All I needed you to do is believe what you've been saying. All she came with was the belief and what she was saying. Somebody thank God that, hey, I ain't just been quoting it. I, I'm yelling. I need more. I'm yelling. I ain't just been quoting it. I'm believing that. I am a homeowner. She said that thing a little differently. With a little sass, like, hey, I'm sure she remember when she was renting. Okay, y'all not going to just stress me out. What, where's Janet at? Come on. Is Janet Jackson's engineer here? Because I feel like I'm straining. I'm sorry? Who said I'm very loud? Oh, you very loud. Well, I could be louder. Yeah, you, you got it. I thank God for Quana. I thank God for Lachelle. I thank God for my sisters who were up here yesterday 
Somebody decided, I'm going to do this. I'm in this to win it. I am going to finish my course. You know what? It's a journey I'm on. They're all at different stages in their life. I may not be where you are, but I'm going to enjoy, enjoy the journey that I'm on. And I thank God that he chose me to continue in the faith. I thank God that I'm here. I thank God that I was able to witness and support others so that I can receive the safe support when it's my time. Y'all better thank God because you don't know what I'm going to do today. I, uh, I, I'm just astonished at what happened yesterday and, um, I was so impressed that I was going to have a repeat today, <laughs> but I said, I better be obedient. Yeah. Look, yeah. Maitley, you said that too. <laughs> yes, you should be obedient. <laughs> but, um, Vira, I, I, I need a little bit more than a minute of that Vira. That thing came with some energy and I appreciate Y'all don't know what we have here. The wealth of knowledge and wisdom that is sitting here. What, what Coco, and I came in on the tail end of Coco and she's talking about Jackson and I was like, amen. I know she didn't tell no lie, but she's not just up here singing. She's not just up here looking. She's not just a fashion place. She is a for real mother. She decided I'm going to be a mother. And, and the last time, she's still with my brother. So, y'all, that it within itself, <laughs> she's still putting up with my brother. <laughs> That's my brother, and I can say it. So I thank God and Candace with her over-the-top self. She just gets so nervous, and I'm like, you better learn to calm down and just speak what God has done for you. Right. And y'all already know the shell, all the, all the gifts she did. I was like, well, Lord... May Lee, if you don't take the microphone, we're going to be here all day because the shell just oozing with perfection. She just is passionate, and you can't be mad at that. You can't be mad at somebody that has passion. I mean, for someone who has not birthed kids naturally, what she has poured into your child, my child. Come on. Come on. That's not, everybody don't do that. That spirit of crystal is all up in there, and she takes it personal. She, you don't have to, you can come with me. You can come to me with some behavior problems. I got it. I'm not afraid to get into your kid's face and deal with the issues I know they're dealing with. Things that I had to deal with when I was a kid and didn't have nobody to talk to. We're going to talk about them. She got her own little church here. I'll be sitting up there at Sunday school. We like, Shell, they be eager to get over there while y'all out there talking. They be running to get to Miss Lachelle's class. That's a blessing. So I thank God for that kind of energy in the house of God. Amen. And, 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 and I'm sure the man of God is going to be absolutely thrilled when he find out. So we, uh, the word for today, Candace talked about scheduling and, and talked about, um, the things that she did in her home and have they ha how they have a word for the day. Yes. So the word for the day is when, W-H-E-N. Mm -hmm. You be like, what? Come on. That ain't no hard word. What you talking about? I'm cleaning my glasses. When, at or on, which referring to time or circumstance. When? When you going to do what you said you was going to do? When you going to stop doing what you said you was going to stop doing? Mm -hmm. When you going to trust God? When you going to believe in yourself? When you going to love you? When you going to love others? When? That's the word for today. And I use that. That's going to go into make it easy on y'all. Y'all know I'm teaching. So the book for today is When by Daniel Pink. And I had to check with Davion to make sure I wasn't lying because I'd be trying to give him credit for some of my books. But this one I did on my own. But Daniel Pink, y'all, y'all got to write this down. I know y'all ain't got not one book I didn't refer, but I'm going to keep referring books. <laughs> what, have you, Sister Ball, which one you get? By who? No, you done made up something. I ain't even. Oh, the spelling book, the art of spelling. This, oh, shut your mouth, Sister Barlow. Okay. Go ahead, Sister Barlow. No, honey, don't laugh at people that can't spell. <laughs> that, not only that, but if you get the book, it's not just how to spell. It's a psychology of spelling. Right. 
That's what's up. Okay, Sister Barlow, let me repent. Well, here's a, which one you got? You got the, 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 the one of the cussing in the title, Tina? That's, a, that's an awesome book, though. That's what's up. Okay, well, y'all definitely got to go get win because what they were talking about, okay. I'm not quite sure what my thug life grandson has got going on right now. Uh, y'all to watch him. He be done walked up out of here. That boy ain't taking steps. He did. No, for real. We about fell out. He just got up and just started with that boss baby got into his head. He think he a boss. Oh, y'all pray for my grandson. He for real about boss baby. If boss baby was Jesus, he'd be speaking in tongue right now. But when by Daniel Pink, P-I-N-K, that man... He got another book, and I, um, what was the one you want me to get? Drive. But you got to get win, because my sisters were talking about time management. And I'm just going to go over some of the table of contents. Is win, W-H-E, it's the word of the day, and it's the book of the day. Win. When we talk about time management and the things that they were teaching, and I told you, it's about choices. It's about you deciding when everybody in here struggles with procrastination, I'm just yep. gonna go ahead. I'm not even Come gonna give now. you a chance. Yep. I'm not gonna give you a chance to lie. I'm gonna help you out. You struggling? But this book is so phenomenal. Some of these things we're gonna uh, write down, and then I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna finish out because Dr. Fashi told me we shouldn't be here all late. We gotta practice. Getting out of church on time. Now when Bishop come back, I ain't got no control over that. But when I'm here. We're going to try to get here out, get out of here at a decent time so y'all can go to the parking lot and stand around and play around. Amen. Write this down. Time isn't the main thing. We were talking about time management, schedules. Time isn't the main thing. It's the only thing. It's the only thing. This little book, depending on your... Uh, level of reading you can get it on your kindle about 300 pages depending on your time management you could probably read it in a a day a week or so but it's something you should read it's in three parts man this is a bad book see that's the power of packing up and getting ready to move Especially when it comes to your books. Now, we supposed to be. Davion, he didn't came in. He repented. He's starting to help me. He cleared off one of my bookshelves, y'all. See? So I got books everywhere. He felt that thing. That's all right. My ex-librarian who's trying to sneak out, she still ain't repented. And her sister back here over there still ain't came through. But Davion said, okay. But the thing about it is you start going through these books and be like, man, I forgot I had this book. This book is good. I promise you I'm going to get re- through and start packing. But when this book right here, three parts. So part one is called The Day, just simply The Day. And it's broken into two sections. The Hidden Pattern of Every Day. And this is what a summary of what the hidden pattern everyday life is. Across continents, time zones, As predictable as ocean tides was the same daily oscillation. Peaks, troughs, and a rebound. Everybody, all, every continent has the same thing. You get to decide what you do with your day. Everybody's going to have highs. Everybody's going to have lows. But everyone sitting in here has rebound from both. When you was up and couldn't nothing stop you, you went down and you rebound from that. When you was low and you thought that was the end, you didn't rebound. That's the circle of, the, of your day. And everybody and everywhere has to go through that same oscillation, that same day. So you get to decide. So the book talks about what you do with those days, with those highs and those lows and the rebounds. You are not supposed to forget about the things that God th- brought you through before. That's right. So when you go through another valley, you're supposed to, everybody in here has been through more than one valley. Yes. Everybody has. It seems like it's just a circle, like Every time I think I'm going good, something happens, bam, I'm back down. Well, you're supposed to not uh, 
make your valleys last as long as the last one because you know the way out. And what's the way out? What's the way out? Say it. Don't be scared, y'all. Today is a call and response day. We, we Baptists. What's the way out, Karen? <laughs> a word. A word is a way out. What's another way out? Praise. Praise is a way out. We all know that, right? Write that on the board. It's not deep. It's not science. And you ain't even got to shout it. A word and praise, two ways out. So when you're going through, why are we staying through? Why are we staying in there? And yet we know the answer, don't we? Yep. Okay, just wanted you to acknowledge that. It's not supposed to last as long as the last one. You should have learned something. Yes. That's part one. Uh, here's another section, the second section of part one, which is just the day. Afternoons and coffee spoons. The power of breaks, the promise of lunch, and the case of a modern siesta. And what Vira said was so on point because it talks about a growing body of science makes it clear. Breaks are not a sign of sloth, but a sign of strength. You need a minute. You need a break. You need some time to regroup. You need some time to say, hey, I can't do everything. I can't be everywhere. I'm not going to be able to make that appointment. I'm not going to be able to make that engagement. I'm supportive. Here's some money. Here's a, 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 a like, a heart on Facebook, but I can't be at everybody's function. I have got to take some time for myself. I have got to take some time to figure this thing out because we just keep going and going and going and going and we're spinning our wheels and we're not productive when she asked who has a schedule there was a lot of people that was like I ain't even gonna lie I ain't gonna even lie try to act like I'm raising my hand I'm just gonna keep it right here and just stare at you like I was the last time because I don't have a schedule I don't even know where to begin my life is just chaos I just keep waking up and just going and going you need to take a break now when you on the job and they say it's time for break we know you break you gonna go get something to eat, y'all. Everybody know that that line at Timeout Chicken is forever long, even now. But you just gonna quick. You got a fifteen minute quick break, and you gonna run down there and try and be in line to get you some chicken and come back <laughs> eating all in the car, all the way crumbs, all and then mad when they like it was just a little break. I'm not talking about extending that break. I'm talking about taking some mental break time. I'm talking about taking some time and saying, hey, can you watch the kids? I need a moment. And make it productive. Make it productive. So that's part, part one. Part two talks about beginnings, endings, and in-between. Man. So there's two parts to this. Beginnings, starting right, starting again. And starting together. Most of us have harbored a sense that beginnings are significant. Now the science of timing has shown that they're even more powerful than we suspected. Beginnings stay with us far longer than we know. Their effects linger to the end. You know how you started. Even everybody who's sitting here remember how they started when they first came to church, how they hunger, how they were so broken and they needed God. You were hungry. And even now, when you're going through that little valley of faith, that valley of church attendance, that valley of appearing and not hearing, you should be remembering how you came in here. And that should be enough to say, oh, no, 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 I've been broken before. I've been down before. Not everybody. I, I, I Trust me, it's not going to be everybody, but somebody should be able to remember, and that should ignite a praise. That should be what you bring in here. That, And if you forget, now your beginning, my beginning, let me talk about me and Darnetta. My beginning, I can never forget the situations I was in when I came here. I can never forget the situations that God delivered me from that I got myself back in. And then he delivered me again. I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about me. God, I thank you. There was times you rescued me and I went right back to the thing that you rescued me from and you did it again. And because of my nature, there are going to be times that I'm going to need you to do it again. So let me take some time, not y'all, but me, to thank God for how I was that you accepted me. 
You loved me. You had a place for me. You had deliverance for me. You had comfort for me. Everything that I stood in need of, you supplied it. You supplied it liberally. You didn't hold back. You did it. How dare I sit here in a current situation not remembering what you did, not remembering my beginning, not remembering when you said I'm the beginning and the end. How dare I do that to you, God? How dare I? That house ain't so great that I can't remember the times that I didn't know where I was going to sleep. Me and my kids was in a one bedroom. Sharing a room with my mom, all sleeping on the same bed. It ain't so great that I forgot. When I came in here dirty and raggedy and messed up and didn't even know where to go. That's just for me. That ain't for y'all. Y'all just being nosy. So your beginnings, your endings, and in between. That's what this book is dealing with. When it talks about your day and talk about when. When, when, when. Midpoints. And this was really deep is how uh, what Hanukkah candles in midlife, how they can teach you about motivation. Some of us want, need motivation. We all do, but some of us want it from everybody but within ourselves. And it says, when we reach a midpoint, sometimes we slump, but other times we jump. A mental siren alerts us that we squandered half of our time. Anybody wake up and be like, I'm, I'm at that age where I don't have a lot of time to waste. Come on, I, I, you know what? And, and I know when you were younger, you was like, oh, I could do that then. I could do this when. But for us older people, you wake up and realize, oh, my God, this thing is about to come to a close. Right. I got to get some stuff handled. Right. And don't spend too much time thinking about all the time you wasted because you will find yourself in a deep depression. But you, it should be for some, it's a slump. And for some, it's an alert like, I got to get going. Yeah. I got to jump. I am at 48 years old building a house. I could have built one at 28. I could have built one at 38. But at 48, I'm jumping. I'm not going to be in a slump and be like, well, I missed my time. Or or I'm happy for Quan, Or I'm happy for the Omars. I'm happy for other people. But this is just ain't for me. No, 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 no. Nope, that's, that's not acceptable. And I don't even think it's the middle. It's just the beginning. I'm just saying hey, that's what they call it, midlife. I am not, you're never too young or too old to get going. You got to decide if you're going to stay in a slump or if you're going to jump. Some people just going to say, I got to go. I got to get going. That's right. I don't have time. I'm burning up. So it's a slump or a jump. So, thank you, don't too far, because I'm going to probably get cold in about five minutes. Endings, marathons, chocolates, Ending marathons and chocolates. Yes, when endings become. I can't. Now I'm trying to be cute. <laughs> I'm beating red something else. Whenever we enter an act, three of any kind, we sharpen our red pencils and scratch out anyone or anything non essential. Somebody got to get to the point. When you start taking your breaks, taking your time out, taking assessment of your life, I've wasted too much time, I got to get going. It don't matter what happened in my past. It don't matter how much of a failure I am to myself or what other people think I am. When I decide I'm going to jump, I got to get going, and there's some people I got to cross out. And right now, I'm in one of the biggest tests of my life as of right now. And, and I was telling my class, I ain't got time to talk to nobody. When you taking the test, you ain't even supposed to be talking. Right. If you taking the ACT, SAT, you are so focused. You cannot be speaking. I don't know what's going on. I'm taking the test right now. I got to pass this test. I have to make sure that I'm not getting any of your questions. You may not have passed your test. So I don't want you giving me any of your, your answers. I have to do this for me. It has to be my faith. It has to be my understanding. It has to be the word that's within me that's going to get me through this. It has to, Darnetta, you're not the only one in the test. And there's others who have decided I'm going to stay in a slump. I'm not going to jump. But Darnetta, decide I am in this to win it. Amen. I'm not going to, come on now. 
I am not going to allow the enemy to get to me at this point in my life when I know what God has done. Some of the most uh, uh, extraordinary things, deliverances, the miracles. We've been talking about miracles. I told them, stop coming to me talking about, oh, Pastor Linda, it's going to work out. I know God going to do it. You've been faithful. Of course he's going to do it. How do you know? Because he did it for me. That's what I want to hear about. I want to hear about your miracle. I wanted you to tell me, oh, let me tell you about the time when I lost my home and I was scared and I was crying. I was packed up. And then at the last minute, I got a phone call. No, I didn't lose. Or when I thought I was going to, to, to leave a relationship or marriage, there's some marriages in here that should have been divorced, but they still together. Thank God for that. That's the miraculous. There's a provision that God has made for some people sitting here that ain't said nothing. That's what I want to hear about. That's what's going to encourage me. Don't tell me about me. Tell me what God has done for you. And everybody in here knows something they can remember that God has done for them. So that's a book that you absolutely add that. About $13, $14 on, on, on Amazon or however you get your books. So we've been talking about Bishop, and I'm going to go over real quick. Uh, that's just to go with the girls, and they were dealing with time management and schedules. But we've been talking about Bishop decided to come up with Daniel. And the phenomenal part is not just the Daniel Faz or Daniel and the Lions Den story. You really have to get into, first of all, this is going to be, like I said, we're going to go Baptist. It's call and response. So be ready if I call on you. To jump up with a response. Rashana looked like, come on, call on me. I'm ready. I know the answer. She's like, no, nah, nah, too late. <laughs> so, Daniel, you need to know where this story is. Where is this story? How you are, now y'all already know. Y'all got to be louder <laughs> and faster than my brother. That's right. <laughs> Even with a mask on, the heavens Ooh, heard that. <laughs> Y'all know Richard ain't shy about nothing. But Lita, do you know where the story of Daniel and the lion's den is? Okay, now I respect that. If you was in my Sunday school class, you would get a treat for that. I respect people that ain't afraid to say, look, I do not know. (laughs) Because I promise you, you not the only, everybody in that section probably feel the same way. (laughs) You are not the only one. Let's go to the book of Daniel. Let's start there. Sound like it would be there. Story of Daniel, maybe in Daniel. Write this down so you'll know next time somebody call on you. Thank you, Maylee. That was that was awesome what you you did um, teaching, even though you don't like teaching, because we all need to work on our time management and getting ourselves together. Mm-hmm. And it has an effect, sidebar, on your relationship with God. Because if you can't make time, you're really saying, God, you, you are not making time for God. You're not. Because if you were making time for God and putting him first and, and starting your day out, he would, he would chart your, your path. He really would. I promise you will. He will convict you on, hey, you're doing too much time on, on Facebook or you're doing too much time talking on the phone. And, and we find time to do what we want to do. But we don't have time for God. But you got to make time to get to know God. I know Pastor KT teaches that all the time, time for prayer. You got to make time to get to know God, and you got to know him until you are fully persuaded. Fully persuaded. Right, Myla? Fully persuaded to, for what? You got to make time to you, you Romans 4 and 21. What's that, Myla? You fully persuaded. Tell them what that is. What's that scripture? I know it. You know Dr. Fosh, you know. Y'all, y'all see how she just... Stand, stand up. Stand up and tell Tracy. Both Tracy. So you got to make time for God until you're fully persuaded because you're going to get tested. You're going to get tested. The enemy going to tell you God ain't going to do it. 
You know, you're not qualified. No, it's just not the right time. No, you got to kind of wait. No, this ain't your season. But you got to be fully persuaded that what he's promised, he's also going to perform. Yes. You got to know that. So time management will help you with that. So, but back to Lita. So Daniel chapter 6. And let's, uh, real quick, we're going to start. We don't have a lot of time because, you know, Dr. Fashi wanted me to get out of here. So, so jump down at the three. I'm just going to do a real, real quick recap, and then we're going to go on. So Daniel 6, start at three, Maylee. Then this Daniel so was preferred above the presidents and princes. Start, start all over. You said that too fast. Then this Daniel. This Daniel. Bishop went off on that one. Yes, he did. You the one. This Marcus. This Brian, mm-hmm. this Kenny Williams, yes. this Richard, this Diego, I'm the one. Don't be hiding back. Well, who, what, what? No, I'm the one that was preferred. It said, then this Daniel was preferred above presidents and princes. Now, you know, there's some presidents and princes that got some attitudes when this Daniel was preferred. He didn't oh, say yes. Daniel was preferred. No, I don't want you to get confused with Danny around the block or Dan or Daniel like. No, this is the Daniel that I prefer above you. You're the one. You're the reason why the enemy is pissed off. Don't don't be scared like, well, it could be a different Deborah. There's two Deborahs here. No, this is the Deborah that has been married to the Ronnie Barlow for over 45 years. Yeah. No, this is the one that has been there with him. I don't care what anybody else says. No, I'm the one I was referred. There's some other girls that wish they were Mrs. Barlow, but no, I'm the one. So you're the reason why the enemy is hating you because if he can get you out of the way, he can get to your husband, ruin your kids, and your grandkids don't even have a chance. Right. But you got to be the one to speak up and say, no, I'm the one. Somebody tell the enemy, no, I'm the one you looking for. Yeah, I'm, I'm the one. one. I'm yep, the it's one. me. I was preferred. Yeah. No, it ain't. It wasn't my sister. No. no, it wasn't my dad. It wasn't my mom. No, I'm the one. I'm the one. I'm the reason why you mad. I'm the reason why you getting all worked up. I'm the reason why you trying to figure it out. I'm the reason why you trying to mess with my mind. I'm the one. This Daniel was preferred. Yes. He didn't do anything to be preferred. God said, I prefer you. I'm the Tracy. Yes. It might be a whole bunch of people named Tracy, but I'm the one that's, that's preferred right. that's above right. presidents and princes. You got to know that because it ain't going to stop the enemy. He not going to be like, oh, oh, my bad. I got you mixed up with somebody else. Oh, no, I'm going to leave you alone. I'm going to chill. I'm going to trip. I ain't going to trip with you. No, I'm the one. I'm the one that's standing up here speaking tonight. You right. I'm the one who you didn't think was going to make it. I'm the one who you thought was going to crumble. I'm the one when I was bent up. Uh, yep, I'm the one that got divorced twice in church. I don't want you to think that was before I came to Christ. Those marriages and divorces happened while I was here. So you know that's even worse. People trying to put it together. No, I'm the one. The same one that was preferred. Mm-hmm. Other people that followed. There was other assistants. There was other people that been reading the Bible, studying, thinking that they was going to be called. There was other people that already Come passed their number out to heaven. <laughs> call me, call me. But I'm the one that got ordained. Yeah. I'm the one that the enemy hates. <laughs> I'm the one who answered the call. I'm the one who stood flat-footed and said, enemy, come with your best shot. I'm the one you wanted to kill, but you couldn't. I'm the one that you love to hate. I'm the one that you thought was going to fall over. I'm still here. You ain't got to look for nobody else. It's me. It's me. How can you be that? That's arrogant. No, I've been through too much. I know you hate me. Satan, I know you mad. I know you trying to discourage me. I know you want me to quit. I'm the one that was preferred over princes and presidents, others who was qualified. I'm the one who remained. Take a good look. Keep watching. Everything that the enemy tried to do, God canceled it. He canceled it. He blessed me so good, I made you look. You had to take a time. I made you look, devil. (laughs) Yep, I made you look. You thought I was so slumped over and I was just so broken. Ain't no way she going to come back. Made you look. Don't sleep on me. What the kids say, stay woke. (laughs) It gets better. I'm not done. You got to (laughs) know. You got to know why you. Because it was a time. That I was, uh, why people, why I never did anything. Oh, I had that. 
Well, I never did. I don't mess with people. I just stay to myself. As if that's going to be a reason for people to stop hating on you. God said I preferred that Linda. That's right. Right. Over presidents and princes. That's right. I, I wanted that Vira. Right. I wanted that. Now that's me. I just been through so much inside and outside that I can't be, I can't lie, Lana. It's me. I'm the one that was preferred. And that pissed some people off. Yep. It, it sure did. The fact that you were the one. That you can't explain why you favor. Why is it always you? And that pisses people off over presidents and princes. Now, you know, Daniel was the <laughs> that Daniel. I don't want you getting him mixed up with nobody else. That's my daughter. That's my son. I call that person. There's a whole bunch of other people that want to be Mrs. Brian Bell, but there's only one. That's the Danielle. Yeah. Her name ain't Susan. <laughs> it ain't Yvette. Teresa didn't make the cut. Danielle did. So fun. you got to walk around. I'm the one. It ain't fussy. Somebody get some boldness and say, wait a minute. I'm the one. I know you wanted them. <laughs> <laughs> no, no don't fun. let me. Don't get no start. Don't fight. No, somebody. Like, nah, I bet you Lisa ain't got no problem saying, I'm Mrs. Mill. Woo! I know you want. Look, that, that's what I'm talking about. That right there. That right there. <laughs> Come with you if you want to. <laughs> don't Don't trip. <laughs> I may be shy, but not about that. I'm the one. You looking for who? You looking for Keith, Mrs. Keith Mills? Here I am. <laughs> they, don't, don't get me twisted with somebody else. There's a whole bunch of people named Lisa. All right. But I'm the one that was preferred over you. That's right. And that's how you have to act. That's right. I'm the one that was preferred. God preferred. He wasn't making no mistake. He didn't just say, oh, let me see. Who can I get? Uh, do I want Quanta to build a home? Maybe. No. No. Yeah. No. He was like, Quanta. Quanta? But you, you know what she used to do back then? She used to. Quanta. That's the one. That's the one. That even Quanta may be like, God, me? Yep. So when it's confirmed that it's you. Don't you hurt God's feeling by trying to disqualify yourself. Right. Don't you hurt God's feeling Come on now. by trying to get him to prefer somebody. Don't you do that to God. Mm -mm. It ain't going to stop the enemy from messing with you. Chilling. He mad that God was even thinking about you. Yes. So don't you hurt his feelings. Right. Then this Daniel. This Daniel. Was preferred above presidents and princes because an excellent spirit was in him. Why wouldn't God, as faithful as Tracy Marsh has been to feeding and taking care of the man of God, why wouldn't God? She didn't just slop some some spaghettios together one Sunday because she didn't have it. When she didn't have money, she found it to make sure the man of God got the best steak, the greens the way he liked it. She didn't just slap together some. Frank and Bean, some spam, mix in some spam. No, it was the best. It was an excellent meal. Come on. You got to say, wait a minute. I'm the one who was excellent. That's why you was preferred. And how do you know you was preferred? Because Satan preferred to bother you more than anybody else. It's always something going on in your life. Yes. More than anybody else. Mm -hmm. You got to think about what was I doing that pissed him off. You was preferred. Because yes. you had an excellent spirit That's in him. Right. And the king thought enough of you to set you above. On, oh, now. man. Beautiful. Thought enough of you in front of the presidents and princes. Yes. You can do that on the slide, but I'm going to call you out in front of everybody going to know who I said in front. Now, you know, I pissed somebody off the day that I got ordained. The day the bishop announced it. <laughs> they, so there's some people that just fainted. They was like, what? <laughs> Well, what are you talking about? Yeah. Oh, he tripping. He just saying that. <laughs> Until the ordination service. Even I was in, a, you know, a little dis disbelief. What are, you, what are you talking about? Because of an excellent spirit. Because of being faithful. Why yeah. can't I do that? Yeah. That's who I want. Come on, Lana. Okay, talking about me. The king thought to set him over the whole realm. Yes. Now, that's too much. Yes, so is. what happened? So the presidents and princes was like, all right. So they sought to find an occasion against Daniel concerning the kingdom. Mm -hmm. The enemy going to try to find something. 
something about you that he can disrupt. You've been telling everybody you saved, sanctified, Holy Ghost filled, water baptized, but I'm going to find something. Mm -hmm. I'm going to find something about you. Mm -hmm. Bishop always talking about you. But what about you? You always, let me pick on Tina. They, Bishop love his little sweet Tina. Somebody always, ah, oh, but you don't know the Tina we know. <laughs> he said, I don't believe it. That's my sweet Tina. Nah, but let me tell you about all the things. Nah, I don't want to hear. I prefer that Tina over everybody. All right now. So what do the princes and the, and the presidents do like? Mm. Well, let me find something to show God. Oh, come on, I'm talking about you now. Let me find something to show God that they really are not who you think they are, Lord. They're not worthy of the position that you called them. And you are agreeing with the enemy. That's right. You helping them. Mm -hmm. You right. Mm -hmm. I can't do it. I'm not educated. I'm not worthy. Here you been preferred. To take over the whole realm. And the enemy seeking you out. To find something he can find. Something about you. You ought to be like, let me give you the list. It's a whole bunch of things. But that don't stop my reference from God. It's a whole bunch of things. You keep looking. You're going to hop. You're going to find a whole bunch of flaws. You're going to find. And in fact, that's what pisses the enemy off so much. All that I know about them. God said they had an excellent spirit. I remember when he had a funky spirit. I remember when she was tripping about that. God said she had an excellent spirit and yeah, I want yeah, you. Yeah. I thought enough of you yeah. to put you over the whole thing. That's that You got to know why the enemy's pissed. Yes. Who is this? I know they tripping with my brother Mouse. Who is this? He didn't marry Karen and now he acted like, but what about all the stuff that he did? God thought enough of him to make him the director. He married Karen. He got an excellent spirit. It don't really have nothing to do with God, to do with him, but God just said, that's who I want. That's the mouse. That's the Marcus Hines. No, it wasn't nobody else. Karen got a whole bunch of men she used to be with. I'm just messing with her. <laughs> She's like, well, no. But it was Marcus Hines that married her, that got her in a jack. They're about to get her in a new home. They're about to get her new money. It, 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 that was the one. Now, ain't you mad about all the times you cried over somebody else? And here, Marcus Hines was the one that God preferred over everybody else. Just didn't even know it. God, you thought enough of me to give me a mouse? And then the favor that comes with it? Oh, come on. No wonder Satan mad, because he's going to try to pick you a point. But I know about this, and I know what she did here, and I know. But, hey, you can't stop your preference. You can't stop God's preference. Sure enough. Come on. It is what it is. You got to know that. that I'm saying that, but you got to know that, because the yes. presidents and princes is like, hold on now. Yes. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. mm, she the one. Yes. What are we going to do? So they sought to find an occasion against Daniel concerning the kingdom. Right. Since he's over everything, you know, what can we do? But they couldn't find none. 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 No fault. No. Because he was faithful. You got to remain faithful. That should encourage somebody to be like, uh oh, I got to remain faithful. They waiting for the moment that I leave. That I, and you're going to have plenty of reasons to leave, but you got to remain faithful. He's watching. You ever have somebody, how you just can feel somebody, or you ever been parents know this been just enjoying something you done fed the kids gave them everything and you finally took five minutes to sit down you just like oh let me just let me enjoy my ramen noodles because that's all that's left but you know you you you've been around enough times you can doctor that thing up and you didn't just fed them uh steak potatoes and you just like that's all right baby you know we gonna work it out y'all go ahead and eat y'all got school I'm just going to sit here and thank God for this little bowl of noodles. Maybe put a little doctrine up, put a little hot sauce. You just, and you could just feel your kids like staring. You ever just be enjoying something and you could just feel somebody's eyes just lusting 
and you like, I know you don't want none. I just gave you everything. And now you want, you, you got to be full. At this point, you have got to be full. <laughs> you have got to be full. But you want what I have? I done gave you my whole day. Right. <laughs> All my energy. And now you want just watching you. You can't enjoy nothing. Boy, kids will do it and don't have the male seed. Don't have a little bologna sandwich that you to put together. A little, just a little something. A little, little, little pack of Clancy chips. You done got to all these. You know, a little 89 cents. Right, I'm just going right. to make it last for the week, Lord. Right. A little tuna sandwich that you done took to work. You, you ever put your lunch together? You like, you know what? That's all right. We're going to be okay. At least I got food for tomorrow for lunch. We full. Thank you, God. Get up, go to work. Get that little tuna sandwich. Go! <laughs> You'll be like... I don't have nothing for lunch. <laughs> oh, mom, I didn't know you was going to eat that. <laughs> you, well, how did you not know I was going to eat it? I, I put it in my lunch box. I used to take my little lunch to work, come home with the remnants. <laughs> and my kids be waiting, running to the garage, to the car about what you got in the back. It's just the leftover of the peanut butter and jelly sandwich that I took. You want that? Yeah, I'll eat it. Oh, come on. <laughs> you got anything left over? <laughs> Don't save nothing. Oh, I know I'm talking. Don't try to put something aside to try to make it last. Lord, I'm going to do this thing. You know what? I'm going through a season. It's just a test. You know this one pack of tuna going to make it through the week. That's two, three sandwiches. You didn't cut it up but i put this one aside. It's for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I know somebody from church is going to bless me with a little pack of tuna to get me through Thursday, Friday, Friday, pay. You got it all worked out. God, I'm going to do this. I'm trusting you to the end. If you don't do nothing else, you've done enough. Lord, I love you. You're just encouraging yourself in the Lord. <laughs> with the tuna, you're going to be all right. And then you go to get that praiseworthy tuna. <laughs> And it's gone. That you, your Wednesday tuna is gone on Sunday. <laughs> oh, mom, what well, was in there all day? I didn't know you was going to eat it. I don't care if it takes two weeks. You leave what I said for me aside. People, I didn't, I, I didn't think you wanted that. Now it wasn't no good. But it was good enough for you to eat. It's been there for a long time. I thought you forgot about it. The day you remember, it's gone. Don't have no thin mints in the freezer from March. I don't care they sell Girl Scout cookies in March and it's July. I may want me some thin mints on Christmas morning. <laughs> They've been in the freezer. Oh, man, they've been in the freezer since when we was living here. I don't care. <laughs> don't come to my... Um, let me get back to Daniel. But my point is, somebody's been watching you. <laughs> trying to find fault. Trying to find that one day when you just ain't going to eat those cookies. You, don't want, you really don't want them. If you wanted them, you would have ate them. Well, I got to gobble down everything to keep right. from you. Just mad, just mad because you trying to get yourself, you done read the book, you, time management, you on a schedule, you budgeting, you doing your part because God's going to bless you. And then somebody just come in and that's just to trip you up to be like, you know what, forget it. I ain't buying no more tuna. I'm just going to go on and get me some turkey from the deli, some cheese. Didn't blow your whole, you just forget it. I'm just going to blow my whole budget. I ain't got to make nothing last. They're going to eat it up anyway. No, 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 no. Stay hold. It ain't going to stop people from watching you. They watching you while you eating, trying to enjoy, trying to praise God, trying to make it through. Somebody just want to pick at you. Don't know you came to church on your last strength. You barely made it in here. And somebody got something funky to say. What's wrong with you? Mm, why you wear that? Do you know? I Look, my lights just got turned on last night. 
and you gonna talk about I know it's wrinkled. <laughs> you gonna talk about why your shirt sure wrinkled. I barely no, you ever barely make it to church. Barely make it. Come on now. Trying to put something together. Just throw on a, a true design wrap. Thank God for true designs. You can make those things. You can just wrap your hair up. But then somebody be like, you ain't supposed to tie it like that. They're not supposed to go in the bag. You, oh, somebody. Oh, come on. Because you prefer. Somebody is designed to pick at anything you do. You got to know that before you step out the house. Satan, okay, I know you're going to pick at me. I'm going to still present my best, but I know you coming at something. That should not alter. The fact that they're trying to find an occasion should not alter your praise. It should not, because it does not alter how God felt about you. That's it right. does not alter God preferencing you over the prince and princess. So don't hurt God's feelings by trying to alter who you are. He preferred you in that state of mind. He preferred you with that amount of money. He preferred you with that broken heart. He preferred you... The way you were. So don't try to alter to fit in. Right. But here they go, trying to find an occasion. This is not even where I'm supposed to land. Right. Find an occasion. Mm -hmm. Lusting after him. Right. He trying to enjoy his little tuna. He's over the whole rim. And there they are. They couldn't find nothing. Neither was there any error or fault found in him. Mm -hmm. Verse 5, May Lee. Men said these men, we shall not find any occasion against this Daniel. Except we find it against him concerning the law of his God. They finally convinced that Vicky is in here to stay. Mm -hmm. You ain't going to get her to go get booed up. Mm -mm. You ain't going to get her. I don't care what her son doing, what her right. daughter-in-law say, right. Right. what her family trip. You ain't going to get her. But maybe, just maybe we can discourage her regarding her God. Maybe if we just parade all the people that God has blessed in front of her, she'll start thinking, well, maybe God's not with me. Maybe this is not. Maybe we can just discourage her and think, oh, I'm happy for Quanah, but maybe it's not for me. So we're going to attack your faith. Yes. We're going to attack your faith. Right. We ain't going to get you to do nothing, but we just going to, you may not even leave, but you just going to sit here railing and the fact that you're lonely until one day you just up and left and just found you somebody in, in another continent that starts with an A. <laughs> you just up and gone. <laughs> just going to. We just, I'm just going to leave it like that. I'm just, I'm just saying, you didn't go to, what y'all talking about? I'm talking about Antarctica. You didn't went to Antarctica. <laughs> because nobody knew. I'm going to tell you today, Vicky. They've been watching you because you've been preferred. And they trying to find an occasion, and they can't find a fault because you have an excellent spirit. That's right. You do what you do for the anniversary. You don't complain about who got their money, who don't have their money. Whether you have to give an extra or not. Whether you have to stay here late. No one ain't nobody. They see you at the door. They just going to pass you on by and go straight out to eat and gave a dime for the anniversary. But you still here. Selling your little t-shirts. You don't care about Cammy having t-shirts and hats and book bags and jackets. You just doing your massages, promoting your business, having an excellent spirit. Well, that pisses off the presidents and princes. They like, wait a minute, we can't find nothing. Let's attack her faith. Let's have her doubt her God. There's something we're gonna this this story about Daniel and the lions then is more than just Daniel not getting eaten up by a lion. Right, right. They attacked his faith. Yes, they did. Yes, they did. God ain't really who he say he is. You better have a response Come on, for when your faith gets attacked. And it better be more than just your woe is me. Lord, help me. Y'all pray for me. You ain't going to always be able to get a hold of somebody. You better say, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me go back to the beginning. When I first got here, there was nothing anybody could say when you came in here. And you came in here your raggediest when you first came to church. And couldn't nobody get you out of here. Now somebody rolled their eyes. Now the bishop says something. And now it's like, he tripping with me. And now you ready to go. What do you go back to the beginning? That's right. 
The book talks about your beginnings are long lasting. Go back to your beginning when you could not be moved. You didn't care. You were so happy for a chance at salvation. You were so happy that somebody accepted you, that it wasn't over for you. You were so happy that God, there's, you mean to tell me you can get this off of me? I can go down in Jesus' name and get, but but, nothing mattered. Me, even me, yes, you. So now when your attack, your faith has been attacked, you got to remember that. Satan ain't going to cheat. You taking a test. It is only a test. You better know and pass the test. Amen. Concerning his God. Mm-hmm. And we, we, I'm not going to read it. We don't have time. But I want to go to a, a different situation. And Daniel knew. Read, uh, read uh, you know what I do want to. So that's four and five. Read five again, May Lee. Then said these men, we shall not find any occasion against this Daniel, except we find it against him concerning the law of his God. And what did Daniel do? Drop down to 10. Now, when Daniel knew that the writing was signed. So here they say, hey, king, you got this law you made. Can't nobody do nothing on this. You can't just be, uh, just, just punked out Darius. You know, he didn't know. Right. And Daniel knew. Mm-hmm. Verse 10. Now, when Daniel knew mm-hmm. that the writing was a signage, when Daniel saw what the enemy was trying to do, when Daniel got an understanding that you trying to attack my faith, that you trying to come with me, you trying to get me afraid, you trying to make me doubt, you trying to scare me, you trying to tell me I'm not going to get the house that I know God told me to build, you trying to tell me I'm not going to get the promotion, on, you mean to on, tell me I'm going to be stuck on this job forever, we not going to have the money to move back to Boston when I know place, plan, provision, you trying to get me scared. But when Daniel knew what yes. the enemy was trying to do, when he knew that God preferred him and they was pissed off, when he knew, what did he do? He kneeled upon his knees three times a day. I'm not going to waver. You're going to have to kill me doing what I know God called me to do. Come I on. am not going to waver. I'm going to keep doing I'm going to keep praising God because I know what you're trying to do, devil. He kneeled. When the sign plainly says, don't kneel. Let me make sure you continue to kneel and praise God when the sign plainly says you're not going to get it. It's plainly after your attack, your, your faith, attacking your faith in your mind. You plainly are afraid. You got to say, you got to be that much bold. When I know what they trying to do, I got to be that the one to walk up in the job and be like, I know what y'all doing. Yep. I'm not going to worry. I'm not going to waver. I know. I know you're trying to get my position. I know you're trying to attack my faith. I know you're trying to make me afraid because you don't understand why I was preferred. I don't understand why I preferred. That didn't stop me from being preferred. But you know what? I know. I know. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep doing what I've been doing. That spirit, your spirit should not alter. It didn't say, well, Daniel back down and he just going to go down to two days, no, right. two, twice a day. No, three times, just exactly what I've been doing, God. What I did to get me here is what I'm going to do to keep me here. I'm not going to waver. Somebody got to not, do not waver. You know what the enemy is doing when he knew what was coming up against him. That's when he decided, you know what, let's do this. Let me continue because it's not about the presidents and princes. It's about the God who promoted you above the presidents and princes. How dare you hurt God Yes. by focusing on the ones God put you over. He gave you power to triumph. How dare you slap God in the face with what the ones he put you over going to do to you. How dare you do God like that? You better, this story about Daniel is more than, we ain't even got to the lines. Then we don't even get there. The fact that Daniel stood in the face of what he know and said, I'm not going to waver. And he's not the only one. Jump over to verse three, chapter three, Daniel three, real quick. And then I'm out of here. Chapter three. Now this is a different story. I, I, I like this one yes. as much as I like Daniel and the lion's den. We got three boys. Mm-hmm. Cause I got three. 
who also people are emailing me while I'm texting me about church. Daniel one real real quick. Start it start it up. Mm. No, a little, little, little background, because you got to understand, real quick, Maylee's a good and fast reading, because you got to understand what Nebi was doing here. So Daniel, one, uh, Daniel 3, start at, uh, start at verse 1, Maylee. Nebuchadnezzar the king made an image of gold, whose height was three score cubits, and the breadth thereof six cubits. He set it up in the plain of Dura in the province of Babylon. Then Nebuchadnezzar the king sent to gather together the princes, the governors, and the captains, the judges, the treasurers, the counselors, the sheriffs, mm -hmm. and all the rulers of the provinces to come to the dedication of the image which Nebuchadnezzar the king. He had wanted set everybody up. to come and see what he did. I mean, he just fooling himself. He made this image. I want everybody to come and see what I did. Mm -hmm. and keep reading. Then the princes. The governors and captains, the judges, the treasurers, the counselors, the sheriffs, and all the rulers of the provinces were gathered together unto the dedication of the image that Nebuchadnezzar the king had set up. Mm -hmm. And they stood before the image that Nebuchadnezzar had set up. Then a herald cried out aloud, To you it is commanded, O people, nations, and languages, that at what time ye hear the sound of the cornet, Flute, harp, sackbut, psaltery, dulcimer, and all kinds of music, ye fall down and worship the golden image that Nebuchadnezzar the king had set up. So he put this in the World Herald. Everybody that y'all come to see my image, when you hear the cornet, the flute, the harp, the sackbut, psaltery, dulcimer, and all kind of music, that's when you fall down and worship this image that I created. Okay. All right, so Satan always going to present something that looks shiny and beautiful and kind and ooh, and, and, and you see everybody, ooh, and ah, it looks nice. So-and-so got a husband. They look happy. Their pictures are posted on Facebook. Oh, she looks so happy. Ooh, look at this image right, right, that right. the enemy has created for you. Yes. Look at this image of everybody that looks like they're being successful. That's the way to get a husband. Girl, you sitting here being all lonely and suffering? That's the old-fashioned way. You better get you a man as fine as you are. You know people been in your DM. You posting all those beautiful pictures every Sunday, fun day. They like, hey, I want to have some fun her own Sunday. Hey, you know that's how you get one. Right. They come on. Look at this. Ooh, ain't nothing wrong. It's going to be all right. Just let the music play. Keep reading, Maylee. <laughs> let the music play. Come on, read, Maylee. And whoso falleth not down and worship shall the same hour be cast into the midst of a burning, fiery furnace. Okay. The same hour. Not due process. You get an arraignment, an initial appearance. Change of plea option, bond here. No, Come that on, same Sunday. hour, mm -hmm. you about to be cast down. Okay. Yeah. Therefore, at that time when all the people heard the sound of the cornet, flute, sharp, sackbut, psaltery, and all the kinds of music, all the people, the nations, and the languages fell down and worshipped the golden image that Nebuchadnezzar the king had set up. Wherefore, at that time, certain Chaldeans came near and accuse the Jews. Well, here we go again. We got an accusation. Whoa, ho, hold on. Everybody ain't appreciating what Nebby did. Uh -uh. <laughs> we got to tell Nebby about this. Keep reading. They spake and said to the king Nebuchadnezzar, O king, live forever. Hmm. Thou, O king, has made a decree that every man that shall hear the sound of the cornet, flute, sharp, sack, butt, psalter, and dulcimer and all kinds of music shall fall down and worship the golden image and who's falleth not down and worship that he should be cast into the midst of a burning fiery furnace they're like yeah wait, wait, wait. remember you said this remember you had said you know when your kids and when you was a kid 
when they want something and they see their sibling doing something, they'll come be like, Mom, remember you had said that uh, we ain't supposed to have no company when you're not here? Remember when you remember you said that, Mama? Oh, come on, y'all. There's some haters. Mama, remember you said uh, don't go in the living room? Yeah. yeah. When, you, when you come in the house, take your shoes off and don't. My Mama, remember you had said. I remember you said that, Mom. I remember you told me to do that. I mean, I'm not saying nothing. I'm just and so you instantly like, well, okay, then who didn't, who, who, who disobeyed? I, I j- drop, j- just dry snitch, and that's that's what they snitch. <laughs> come on now, so that's what the Chaldeans was doing. Like King Nebi, remember you had said, uh, right, right. Everybody's supposed to when they hear the music, they're supposed to bow down. Mom, uh-huh. well, I'm, I'm just gonna put that out there for you, Nebi. He like, yeah, I said that. Why? Well, who, who got a problem with you? You instantly like, well, yeah. Do you see a pattern here? Just like with Daniel, you always got somebody that's going, oh, king, live forever. Yeah. Feed into the Built ego yep, yep. Mm-hmm. of the king. Mm-hmm. So here, Nebby, like, well, yeah, I know y'all sure did. What, what, what's up? What, what y'all talking about? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He said, well, you know, <laughs> Davion had friends over while you was gone. I mean, I just, I just want to make sure this is how we do now. I just want to make sure I understand, Mom, because I don't want to disobey your rule. So nobody should be coming over the house while you at work. Okay, I just, I just, and you know, I'm like, who did it? What? Who? Ha- I just want to make sure you said do not eat the last tuna sandwich that you made for somebody must be making tuna for this week's lunch. That's all right. God bless y'all. Don't eat your tuna. That was for that was for work. I remember you saying, "Don't eat that." Y'all go ahead and have cereal, cause that's what Mama gonna say. Okay, I'm not gonna say nothing. But if you just go to the refrigerator, or something missing. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna leave that right there, Mama. So this is what they dry snitching. So not be mad. Like I know I didn't put it in the Herald. No, I did, I said everybody come look at my image. Y'all bow down. So verse twelve. There are certain Jews. Whom thou hast set over the affairs of the province of Babylon. Why people got mad, get mad, got a problem that Mouse is now the director. Why You weren't mad when he just was there making the little peanut butter jelly sandwiches to pass out. But now that he's directing you, no wheat bread on Mondays, Sarah Lee on Friday. Now he the director, you mad. Well, the one you put over, the one you, the, there's some, the, mm-mm. He, he, he talking about, no, nah, he ain't going to be going out with us because he got to go home to his wife. He don't want to hang with us. They watching you. You got to know that the enemy is watching you because you were preferred. Mm-hmm. So here they like, hmm. Well, I mean, I'm just going to say it's some Jews that ain't doing what you told them to do. Right. Call them out. But you set them over the affairs of the province of Babylon. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. These men. That Daniel. These men. O king. Let me put that in there. Let me remind you who you are. So don't you forget, O king. They have not regarded thee. Mm -mm. They have not regarded thee. You the king. Basically, you in charge. What you going to do? They serve not thy gods. They serve not thy God. Right. Nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. Nebi, you set that up. Then what did Nebi do? Nebi in his rage, he mad. He hot. Yeah. In his rage and fury commanded, bring me Shaddy, Mishi, and Abednego. Bring them here. Then they went and got them. They probably had them in the trunk of their car. I know you was going to want them. We got them. I knew you was going to want us to bring them, so I didn't want you to have to wait. Because you said this hour, and it would have took us some time to go get them. So we already had them when we was telling you what they did. So here they are. Baby, our mama wants you. <laughs> oh, I know. I know. He, uh, my head just went. He upstairs in the room. Uh, he just went up there. So when I tell, they right here. Nebby want y'all. Mm-hmm. I'm watching it. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. Shaddy, Mishi, and the Bendigo, they was like, yep, we the ones. They showed up. We right here. What they do? 
Then they brought these men before the king. Mm -hmm. Nebuchadnezzar spake and said unto them, Is it true? Shaddy, Mishi, Negro, do not you serve my God, nor worship the golden image which I have set up? Now, if it be ready, in other words, if you didn't got your face fixed up and you didn't understood, if you be ready, that at what time you hear, let's go over this rule again. When you hear the music, mm-hmm. if you be ready after I done clarify my rules, you fall down and worship the image which I have made well. But if you worship not, you shall be cast the same hour into the midst of a burning fiery furnace. And this is where I just said, what, hush your mouth. He might have been okay with the threat, but then, and who is that God that shall, that shall deliver you out of my hands? Somebody need to have a read. Now that part, okay, y'all done had me in the trunk, y'all gonna snitch on me, but you gonna question my God? My God, yeah. Oh, you better have a response for when the enemy say, well, who basically can't nobody undo what I'm about to do to you? Who is this God? Now, this is where we get Baptist. This is called a response. Yeah. So I need somebody that's got some word in them that's been praying and speaking on some things to stand up and read a response of scripture. You got to help us out. Who is your God that's going to deliver you? Now, somebody, now, if you in my Sunday school class, and for those who are not, I'm going to help you cheat. One response could be Jeremiah 32, 17. So I just need somebody to respond to Nebi to stand up and declare Jeremiah 32, 17. Nebby, <laughs> behold, you better, that's what I'm talking, that's hold on, what? Come on, I like that. Somebody else. The Lord is my life, <laughs> my salvation. Okay. Whom shall I Okay, Nebby, <laughs> what are you talking about? That God, who is that God? The Lord is my light and my salvation. Who shall I fear? Come on, I need one more. Somebody get Isaiah 40, 40, 28. Somebody boldly, come on, because Nebby like, who is it? Who this God that's going to deliver you out of my hands? You better know, Nebby. Oh, come on, somebody, somebody, come on. Y'all got to. Somebody, who is this? Who is your God? Who is it? I'm going to read mine, but I'm going to get somebody else. Who's your God? Well, you better read yours. You, you know what? They coming at you, Karen. Who, who is this God? Hmm. He will perform a good work until the day of Jesus. You better don't be messing with my confidence until you going to know who it is. So just let's get said. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. That's how you got to have a response. These are people that have been fought. Clearly, you should have seen Betty was like, she was like, she never, it was just a hypothetical. Betty never can never ain't really here, but she was like, <laughs> hold on. You got to come at it. Get second Samuel. Second Samuel 22. Now, I got to read this one. Go ahead. I have to put my glasses on, but I'm going to read it. Go ahead. Y'all just follow along. Nebby, 2231, if you have it, good. As for God, his way is perfect. 
The word of the Lord is tried. He is a buckler to all them that trust in him. For who is God? But. It says save the Lord, but really is but the God. And who is the rock? But save our God. God is my strength and power, and he maketh my way perfect. That's why, Nebi, I'm not kneeling to your raggedy, funky image or to you. I don't care about your herald. I don't care about being in the Wall Street Journal. I don't care about being in the New Yorker. I heard the decree when you said it. I know they was watching me not do it. I'm still not bowing down. You got to, and the fact that you're going to question my God, you're going to question the Kingsman Redeemer, you're going to question the Almighty, you're going to question the one that began to create the heaven and the earth with his great power and stretched out arm, you going to question the one that created the heaven and earth from the beginning when it was void and dark. You going to question the one. That's the God that's going to deliver me out of your hands. He has already delivered me. You better have a response when they question come on, come on. your God. Because right. they're questioning you. You can't alter and buckle and be like, oh, you right. Dang. Maybe I should or maybe I should just kind of act like I'm bowing. And now. No, absolutely not. I'm the one. I'm the one. You right. I knew they was going to go and snitch. I'm not bowing down. Do what you going to do. Do what you going to do. You better have a word to respond when your faith gets questioned. And when you come boldly and then the enemy says, well, then that's what I'm going to do. And when he fire up the furnace, he first I was just going to put you in the first, but you done pissed me off, Betty. You had a little too much attitude. So I'm going to make it seven times hotter. You can make it 27 times hotter. I'm not going anywhere. Right. That has got to be in you. I'm not going anywhere. You getting scared and trying to alter is not going to make him turn it down to low. The furnace, he thinks, is going that hour going to get you. Do what you're going to do. He going to deliver us. And if he don't, I'm still not going to alter. That's, right. That's another level. That's right. And if he don't, get back to Daniel real quick. Mm -hmm. Let's finish that out. Y'all going to have to go home and study. So we got Daniel 6 and Daniel 3. We in Daniel 3. But if not, be it known unto thee, O king, that we will not serve thy gods, nor worship the golden image, which thou hast set up. So here, 16, you got to read, you got to read, read 16. Because Nebi said, hey, I'm going to give y'all a chance to get your attitudes right. I said, when you hear the music, when you hear the beat drop, come on now. Y'all know there's certain songs when you hear the <laughs> intro. When you hear the intro, you like, you ain't even supposed to be bowing down, but you dropping it. Yeah. Oh, come on, you do with me. When you hear the beat drop, then you bow down. I created that image. And who is this? You don't want to worship my God. Well, then who is your God that's going to deliver you out of the hands? Read 16. Come on now. You got to read it like only a May leak and read it. What they say? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego <laughs> answered and said to the king, Oh, Nebuchadnezzar, hmm. we are not careful to answer thee in this matter this is what y'all gotta stop right there and i promise i'm gonna get out of here you cannot be careful in your answer you cannot waver you cannot be afraid and it's a natural instinct when somebody comes at you calls you into the principal office calls you into the boss's office calls you in and say hey hr i want to see you your heart drops like oh my god they lying on me, what they want, what they going to do. Call you in, the lender calls you. Now, if it's good news, just send me an email and say, okay, we good. Don't be calling me. What you calling me for? Call you in your heart. There's certain numbers, certain emails, certain messages you get that you like, oh, my God, you're trying to brace for it. You cannot be careful in your answer. Do what you're going to do. You have to stand on a word. These scriptures... That we was reading that they were, you should have been writing them down. You got to have your own. When that little ting in your heart or that little ping or that little, 
the butterflies, you got to be like, oh, no, no, no. That ain't God. I made a decision. I'm going to trust you, God. Tears streaming down my face. If they fire me, they fire me. God, if they kick me out, they kick me out. If they say no, they say no. They can do whatever they're going to do, but you preferred me. It's been you all along. It's going to continue to be you. I am not going to waver in my trust in you because Nebby is bigger, louder, all in my face and threatened to do it to me that hour if I don't, if I don't change or worship is God. I'm not. If you preferred me, I'm not going to change. I'm not going to change. They were not we. They told him to his face. Dude. Yeah. We're not going to be careful. To answer the. In this matter. Matter of fact, we basically, we ain't scared. No. We're not going to stutter. No. We might have a speech impediment, but it's going to get cleared when we tell you this. What they say. If it be so, our God, whom we serve, is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace and he will deliver us out of thine hand O king if it's so do what you're gonna do the god we serve not your little image not your little god he gonna deliver us he gonna deliver me from you he gonna get me another job he gonna get me another home he gonna get me another husband do what you're gonna do baby you ain't gonna beg you to stay leave if it be so, you got a choice. You going to come with me? You going to stay in that church or you going to come? I had somebody tell me, you need to be following me. Or you ain't going to never get this. And I wish that person was here today. Please, somebody call him. I know y'all know his number. <laughs> call him up. If it be so, he going to deliver me. Yes. Yeah. If it be so, if you throw me in a fiery furnace... He gonna deliver me. Fire me if you want to, but God gonna deliver me. You gotta know that. I can't just tell you that. You gonna, they said we ain't gonna even be careful in how we tell you this. We not gonna have our head down. We not gonna stutter and be like, well, I mean, I mean, no, no, no. Hold on, hold on, Nabby. Let me tell you this right now. Let me say this clearly. Let me say this to your faith. I'm not gonna be afraid in telling you this. If it be so, if that's what you gonna do, do what you gonna do. Try it. Leave me. I'm not putting up with you mistreating me and beating me. Well, if you, if we ain't going to be together, then I ain't going to take you. Do what you, if, that, if that's what it's going to be, God going to deliver me on anything you think you're going to do to me. And if not, keep reading, Maylee. But if not, be it known unto thee, O king, that we will not serve thy gods, nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. If he don't, I'm still not going to, I'm going to die believing in my God. Somebody got to make up in their mind, I'm going to die believing that God is going to deliver me. I'm going to die sitting here waiting for him to bless me. I'm not going to make no shortcut. I'm not going to go nowhere. I'm not going to believe what other people say. I'm going to die in this. You got to make up in your mind. No, nope, I was preferred. I was preferred. I was chosen. I know you mad. I know you don't understand it. I didn't understand it. Should have been somebody else. Could have been somebody else. I didn't ask God to choose me. I was just being me. And he said, that's who I want. That's you. You got an excellent spirit. Keep maintaining that. I want you. And if you decide, if my faith offends you, if it's too much for me, I'm not bowing down. I'm not. You have to have your mind made up. You cannot alter. It hurts God's feelings when you try to alter to appease somebody who God set you over. Please don't do God that way. Amen. Somebody get their faith renewed tonight and have a response for Nebuchadnezzar. Somebody have a response. Somebody have a scripture. Somebody go back to your beginning. Somebody go back to the beginning. Oh, no, 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 no. I came in here worse than what I am now. Somebody go back to their beginning. I'm a miracle. 
the fact that you even talking to me lets me know I must have made a stand that offended the enemy. I took a stand that pissed Satan off. He's been, how dare you? How dare you? You motivated and I'm motivated. Since you're watching, let me give you something to watch. Somebody, every head bow. Pray, Pastor KT.